Uh, my name's William. You can call me Bill. I, am, uh, I work for New England Low Vision and Blindness as an assistive technology specialist. It's, it's nothing new to me. I've um, been in the, that, in the industry overall for about almost uh, 18 years, helping anything from uh, veterans to the elderly to uh, just, just disabled in general, multiple disabilities. I've seen a lot of different technology, been all over the country, seen different, tra different trade shows. Um, seeing the cutting edge of what we have out there available for assistive technology and it's pretty amazing um, and that's one of the things that I really like about this industry is being able to help people using the, the technology that we have available and that is still evolving. Through my experiences and through you know the various places I've been, people I've met, it comes to mind a story of um, a young man, 26 year old, deaf blind, and his parents who really wanted to build their communication skills between them and her son because they really didn't have a way to really communicate effectively with him. So one of the tasks of what I was going to do um, is to go there and train them on how to use the technology that they had available. They had an iPad and, and there's this app that they wanted to teach him to use to be able to touch tiles, it'll speak words for him, show sign language. Um, and through a trial period they had realized that he took well to this iPad and this might be the window opening to their communication. Um, through the training process of when I went there and met them and went through what they thought was the method that they were going to use, they learned something They learned, and I learned something at the same time. I learned one of the things how I was really helping them. Um, at one point the father was sitting in a chair and he was just quiet, looking down and kind of just, you know, and I was like, are you okay, sir? And he was like, I'm just sitting here thinking, like, I'm, I'm going to be able to communicate with my son right now. And he's like crying, tears coming down his face. And that's when it really hit me. I was like, you know, this is why I love doing what I do. It's just to help people enrich their lives, bring some quality to their life and open new doors, new windows for them because now they're actually going to be able to communicate with their son and he's going to be able to effectively communicate his feelings rather than um, through frustration and other methods that they described to me. So it was really, um, despite the many years I've been in the industry, it's just moments like that that just keep refreshing it with me and, and why I do it.